Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, we will learn that how to classify the soil samples according to the unified soil classification. For this problem, I have been given 12 soil samples and I have to classify each of these soils according to the unified soil classification system. I have to give the group symbols and the group names. So we will uh, classify each of these soil samples one by one. First, we will take soil first. For this soil, I can see that the fine fraction, which is the percentage of the soil passing C number 200, this is 30%. Coarse fraction, it will be the portion of the soil coarser than C number 200, so it will be 100 minus 30, which is 70%. Gravel fraction, it will be the uh, portion of soil coarser than C number 4, so it will be 100 minus 70, which is 30%. And sand fraction, it is the portion of the soil between CU number 4 to CU number 200. So it will be 70 minus 30, which is 40%. I can see for this soil that the major portion of the soil is coarse fraction, which is 70%. And out of this coarse fraction, the sand portion is 40%. So I can say this is a sandy soil, so symbol S will be used. Also, fine fraction of this soil is more than 12%. So we have to check the type of fine fraction, whether it is a silt or clay, because the symbol will be used in the uh, classification of the soil. So liquid limit of the soil is given as 33%, plasticity index of the soil is 21. Plasticity index of A line, which is 0.73 times liquid limit minus 20. So it will be equal to 9.49. I can see that PI of this soil is above the PI of A line. So you can say that fine part of this soil is clay. That is symbol C will be used. This soil has more than 15% gravel. So it will be included in the group name. So soil will be classified as clay sand with gravel. That is SC. Now for soil 2, I can see that fine fraction, this is 20%, uh, coarse fraction is 100 minus 20, which is 80%, gravel fraction is 100 minus 48, which is 52%, and sand fraction is 48 minus 20, which is 28%. Again, for the soil, major portion of uh, soil is coarse fraction, and out of this coarse fraction, uh, gravel is 52%. So it's a gravelly soil, so symbol G will be used. Fine fraction of this soil is more than 12%, so we have to find whether it's silt or clay. Liquid limit of the soil is 41%, plasticity index is 22. Plasticity index of A line is 9.03. Again, PI of the soil is above the PI of A line, so fine part of the soil is clay. That is symbol C will be used. Uh, again, this soil has more than 15% sand, so it will be included in the group name. So I can say that soil is classified as clay gravel with sand, that is the group symbol will be GC, and group name is clay gravel with sand. For soil 3, fine fraction is 70%, coarse fraction is 30%, Gravel fraction is 5%, sand fraction, this is 25%. Again, in this soil, we can see the uh, major portion of the soil is fine fraction, which is 70%. So it means this is a fine grained soil because more than 50% passes C number 200. Liquid limit of this soil is 52%. Plasticity index of this soil is 28% and uh, plasticity index of A line is 23.36. For this soil, PI of soil is above PI of A line. So it means fine part of this soil is clay. Liquid limit is greater than 50%. This soil has coarse fraction equal to 30%. And in this coarse fraction, percentage of sand is greater than percentage of gravel, and this gravel percentage is less than 15%. This coarse fraction will be included in the group name. Since it is equal, or you can say equal or greater than 30%, it will be written before the group name. 
so soil will be classified as sandy fat clay that is the symbol group symbol will be ch for soil 4 fine fraction is 82 percent coarse fraction is 18 percent gravel fraction is zero sand fraction is 18 percent and for the soil more than 50 percent passes the c number 200 so it's a fine grained soil liquid limit of the soil is 30 percent plasticity index is 19 pi of a line is 7.3 again pi of this soil is above pi of a line so fine part of the soil is clay that is symbol c liquid limit is less than 50 percent this soil has a coarse fraction between 15 to 29 percent and percentage of sand is greater than percentage of gravel so this coarse fraction that what type of coarse fraction it is here it is sandy uh, sand percentage greater than gravel so it will be written after the uh, soil name after the group's name that is i can classify the soil as lean clay with sand this coarse fraction is written after the major portion which is the fine fraction which is clay so grip symbol will be cl for the soil 5 fine fraction is 74 percent coarse fraction is 26 percent gravel fraction is zero percent sand fraction is 26 percent more than 50 percent passes c number 200 so it's a fine grained soil liquid limit of this soil is 60 percent plus c index is 28 pi of a line is 29.2 we can see for this soil this time the pi of the soil is below the pi of a line it means that the fine part of the soil is a silt that is symbol m will be used liquid limit of this soil is 50 percent soil has a coarse fraction between 15 to 29 percent and percentage of sand is greater than percentage of gravel so i can write this soil as uh, classify the soil as elastic silt with sand and group symbol will be mh for soil six fine fraction is 26 percent coarse fraction is 74 percent gravel fraction is 13 percent sand fraction is 61 percent and 50 percent of the coarse fraction it uh, passes c number four so we can say that it's a coarse grained soil and out of this coarse fraction major is sand portion so we can say it's a sandy soil fine fraction of this soil is more than 12 percent it means we have to find out the type of fine fraction liquid limit of soil is 38 percent pi of soil is 18 pi of a line is 13.14 and pi of soil is above the pi of a line it means that the fine part of the soil is clay soil has uh, this is less than 15 percent gravel so soil will be classified simply as clay sand that is the symbol will be sc if this gravel portion had been more than 15 percent then uh, we should have included this gravel uh, that is name with the soil that is i have to write the group uh, name of the soil as clay sand with gravel if it had been more than 15 percent since it is less than 15 percent so i don't need to include its name in the group name of the soil now for soil seven this has fine fraction equal to 78 percent coarse fraction 22 percent gravel fraction 12 percent sand fraction 10 percent again we can see that more than 50 percent that is 78 percent passes c number 200 so it is a fine grained soil liquid limit of this soil is 69 percent plasticity index is 38 pi of a line is 35.77 for the soil pi of the soil is above the pi of a line so fine part of the soil is clay liquid limit is greater than 50 percent this soil has a coarse fraction between 15 to 29 percent with a percentage of gravel with percentage of greater than percentage of sand 
so the name of this gravel will be included in the group name of soil so soil will be classified as fat clay with gravel that is the group symbol will be ch for soil 8 fine fraction is 57 percent coarse fraction is 43 percent gravel fraction is 1 percent sand fraction is 42 percent and uh, more than 50% passes CU number 200, so it is a fine grain in soil. Liquid limit of the soil is 54%. Plasticity index PI is 26. Plasticity index of A line, this is uh, 24.82. Since PI of this soil is above the PI of A line, I can say that fine part of the soil is clay. Also, the liquid limit is greater than 50%. For this soil, the coarse fraction is more than 30%. And out of the coarse fraction, sand percentage is greater than gravel percentage, with gravel percentage less than 15%. So I can classify this soil as sandy fat clay. That is the group symbol will be CH. For soil 9, Fine fraction is 11%, coarse fraction is 89%, gravel fraction is 29%, sand fraction is 60%, and 50% of the coarse fraction, since in this soil, major fraction of the soil is coarse, and out of this coarse, I can say that more than 50% passes C number 4, so it is a sandy soil, so simple S will be used. Fine fraction of this soil is between 5 to 12 percent. So this means we have to use the dual symbols for the soil classification. Liquid limit of this soil is 32 percent. Plasticity index of this soil is 16. Plasticity index of A line is 8.76. So uh, PI of this soil is above the PI of A line. It means fine part of the soil is clay. Also, that is coefficient of uniformity is 4.8 which is less than 6 coefficient of curvature is 2.9 which is between 1 to 3 since coefficient of uniformity is less than 6 so it is a poor graded uh, soil and it has 15 percent gravel so we can classify this soil as poorly graded sand with clay and gravel and the group symbol will be spsc this is poorly graded because the uniformity coefficient is less than 6. For sand, it should be greater than 6 for soil to be well graded. So group symbol of the soil is SP and SC. For soil 10, I can see that fine fraction of the soil is 2%. Coarse fraction is 98%. Gravel fraction is 0%. Sand fraction is 98%. Again, for this soil, major portion of the soil is coarse fraction, which is 98%. So it means a coarse grain soil and out of this uh, coarse fraction, major is sand, that is 98%, as gravel is 0%. So it is a sandy soil. Fine fraction of this soil is less than 5%. So we don't have to find the consistency index of the soil. And the soil is non-plastic. We can see for the soil CU coefficient of uniformity is 7.2, which is greater than 6, and coefficient of curvature is 2.2, which is between 1 to 3. It means this soil is well graded. So coarse fraction of soil is well graded. So I can simply classify this soil as well graded sand. That is SW. For soil 11, I can see that the fine fraction is 65%. Coarse fraction is 35%, gravel fraction is 11%, sand fraction is 24%. For this soil, the major portion passes C number 200, that is 65%. So we can say it's a fine grained soil. Liquid limit of the soil is 44%, PI of soil is 21%, PI of A line is 17.52%. Again, for this soil, PI of PI is above the PI of A line, so we can say that fine part of the soil is clay. 
liquid limit is less than 50% and this soil has coarse fraction more than 30% with sand percentage greater than gravel percentage and this gravel percentage being less than 15% so we can classify this soil as sandy lean clay that is CL. Finally for soil 12 pine fraction is 8% coarse fraction is 92% gravel fraction is 10% sand fraction is 82% for this soil major portion is coarse fraction which is 92% so it's a coarse grained soil and out of this coarse fraction sand is 82% so it's a sandy soil simple s will be used fine fraction of the soil is between 5 to 12 percent again 12 symbols will be used first we have to find what type of fine fraction we have liquid limit of this soil is 39 percent plasticity index of the soil is 31 plasticity index of a line is 13.87 and uh, pi of the soil is above the pi of a line it means fine part of the soil is clay coefficient of uniformity this is 3.9 which is less than 6 although the coefficient of curvature is 2.1 which is between 1 to 3 so the coarse fraction of the soil is poorly graded and it has 15 percent gravel so we have to include this gravel in the group name so i can say the soil will be classified as poorly graded sand with clay and gravel and the group symbol will be spsc so this is how we can classify the soil samples according to the unified soil classification uh, how to find their group names and group symbols in this uh, problem i solved 12 uh, soil samples i tried my best to provide you step by step solution still if you find something is missing you can tell me in the comment box okay i hope you guys learn something new from this video and enjoy this video and if you find my videos helpful please share my videos and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching the videos of master civil engineering i will see you in the next video